back as early as the 5th century. When you think of January, you think of the perfect time for hot cocoa in a mug. But there's a few other things you can make in a mug. And here to show us one example, we have Chucky Hessong with the K-State Extension Service. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you back on the show. Thanks. I've kind of missed you. So we're going to be making something that is like a sing single serving, right. meal in one type thing. Right. You know, there's lots of people who are... They, they live by themselves or just a couple and this is one I thought this was a neat um, approach to take to help people to continue to eat healthy cook at home but this is really kind of a neat thing and I'll tell you the truth when I first saw this I was like mm, meat loaf in the microwave I'm not sure I'm in she said it meat loaf in a mug <laughs> meat loaf in a mug and we're gonna and you cook it in the microwave so and I was a little sketchy so but it's actually quite nice so. okay so how do we um, do it so in here we have about a quarter of a pound of hamburger and this is one of those things you really need to have planned overs planned you know a quarter of a pound and that means you're obviously gonna have about three quarters of a pound if you bought a pound of meat and then we have a couple of uh, tablespoons of milk in there as well um, obviously the lower fat milk is what they recommend and then we are gonna use two table ooh, maybe I better make sure we get a full tablespoon two tablespoons of, um, of quick oats and try not to stir too much we want to that's one of the mistakes people make with ground meat oh. is they over stir and then it gets tough and kind of dry oh. leave those little fat pockets now alone. you mentioned quick oats not the the other ones would work okay I mean it wouldn't be like the end of the world but it might give you a little more texture than you're interested in so okay. the quick oats we are, are making small. them in the microwave yeah, yeah we are so and then we have one teaspoon of the you know the onion soup mix just okay. so dry kind of stir that around a little bit before you get Staple in there that almost everybody has yeah you covers. do you kind of just have one in there and then the last thing is a tablespoon of ketchup I actually used barbecue sauce when I made it at home because I didn't have any ketchup oddly enough okay and it tasted fine too so stir it up really good but not too much. Not too much. <laughs> and of course, you know, typically when you make a meatloaf, you kind of use your fingers. Oh, yeah. But it was, it would be messy, so I brought you a spoon. The other thing to remember, too, is that you can always add some goodies into here. So, like, you know, a great way to kind of get some vegetables. And go ahead and you can toss that in there. Do you need to grease your... Nope. Do you have, enough, you have okay. enough fat in your hamburger that it should be just fine. Okay. So you just put that yeah, in there. Plop it in there. And then use your spoon. And I'm going to use your spoon to kind of... I did deci discover after the first time making it that the um, it's kind of falls apart if you don't kind of pack it in a little bit. There okay. again, not to overhandle it because it is oh, ground meat. And then here's the last little tip here. Take the end of your spoon and you're going to make a well clear to the bottom and make it kind of have a hole. Okay, now that, why is that? that? That way it cooks more evenly. The heat can get in there when oh, you're okay. microwaving it. So, you know, and it actually cooks quicker just if you want it. Yeah, a little mini Yeah, a little, <laughs> little hole in there with, your, with the end of your spoon. Okay. All right, so then you're going to put that in the microwave. A microwave for about three minutes is all it took in mind. Um, and it comes out and it's completely done. You do want, I know, I couldn't believe it. And, yeah. You know, my, kid, my kids actually love meatloaf. I think meatloaf kind of gets a bad rap, but my kids love meatloaf. So, mm -hmm. um, I think they think it was fun. I did bring a um, thermometer to remind you that you can you can temp it, and after three minutes, mine was 180, so it was you know it was perfect, um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, one other thing I wanted to remind you is when you're eating alone, often we kind of get used to sticking you know like what, eating on the at the standing at the countertop that kind of thing. It's really important that you go ahead and take time to enjoy your food. It is your meal, it's your dining, and go ahead and take that time um, and go ahead and set your table and enjoy it just for you. Okay, and I was making a comment during the break about this it's not a lot no of meatloaf here it, but it's not and you know we and th but that's one of the things that's kind of funny is as Americans we think you know we have to have this giant 12 ounce steak but in reality that's a serving so that's actually a little large a little large serving so they say you know two to three ounces so well I'm going to cut into this as we go to the break it looks delicious and a reminder that you can find this recipe on our website at koamtv.com later this morning great thanks next month you have something planned fun for us as well we're gonna make baby quiches next month along the same idea is making the making mm. it for one. So. It's pretty good, even though it was microwave, don't you think? Really good. Yeah, yeah. I was impressed. Very easy. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. We'll be right back.